Uttarakhand, we've discussed Goa, now we go to Manipur. That's right, I spent a few days in Manipur, again very difficult state, Pradeep hold on for two minutes because we have the state of Manipur, what is the Axis by India poll saying about the state of Manipur, first the vote share, remember this is uh, another state which is fascinating because it is, it is a very difficult state to predict. There are 60 seats on offer, 40 in the Imphal Valley, 20 in the hills. This is what our vote share for the state of Manipur is suggesting at the moment. Let's take a look at that. Projected vote share for Manipur. We are projecting 36 at the moment, 42% for the BJP, 35% for the Congress. And we are projecting, therefore, a 7% lead in vote share for the BJP over the Congress at the moment. That's what... Yes. Sorry, last time vote share. Sorry, I, I, I must apologize for, for, for those numbers there in Manipur. We are projecting at the moment 41%. 41% for the BJP. 18% for the Congress. 16% for the NPP, which is Conrad Sangma's party. NPF, the Naga People's Front, 8%. JDU, which is contesting in Manipur, is 5%. Others, 12 But a huge gap. The BJP doing very well as per this survey in Manipur. 41% is a huge number in Manipur. How is this all translating into seats in Manipur? This is what the India Today Axis My India poll is suggesting for numbers for the state of Manipur. 60 seats on offer. Take a look at where the numbers stand. 33 to 43 for the BJP. 33 to 43. A clear majority for the BJP in Manipur. Something they have never achieved. Remember last time they managed to form a government only in a post-poll coalition had less seats than the Congress. The Congress just down to 4 to 8. Disaster for the Congress in Manipur. NPP that was hoping to play kingmaker 4 to 8. Keep a watch out for them if the BJP numbers fall. NPF, the party of the Naga People's Front, 4 to 8. There are 4 seats which they will win. I don't think they, they may go as high as 8. We don't know. JDU is 2 to 4. They also have some strong candidates. Those who left the, didn't get BJP tickets went and joined Nitish Kumar's party. Others 0 to 3. But the big picture, Rahul, is that the BJP could get a majority if Pradeep's numbers are right for the first time in Manipur. And that's huge. Rajdeep, I would make intervention that Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Northeast policy is highly successful. And this is the reason for the success of the Bharatiya Janata Party, not only Manipur but other also Northeastern states. You okay. just see the National People's Party is also contesting that a party belongs to Meghalaya. Okay, can and, I, but, can but, I but, you move know, the, to Pushkar the way, Singh Dhami? He's joining yeah. us. I'm coming back to you in just a moment. Pushkar Dhami is the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand and according to this poll, the number one choice to be Chief Minister again. 34% of the respondents, Dhami ji, say ki wo chahate hain ki Pushkar Dhami hi Chief Minister bane. Aapko Dhami ji, awaaz aari hai ki nahi? Dhami ji, awaaz aari hai ki nahi aari aapko meri? Hello? Mujhe to aapki awaaz aari hai, aapko meri awaaz aari hai, Dhami ji? Okay, give us a moment, we'll try and have him back with us. Uh, but it's significant that the BJP expected to cross the, the victory margin the majority figure in uh, the state of Uttarakhand. You want to make a point of man no, Manipur? Manipur, Manipur, Manipur yes, 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 very important. Manipur, see, in Manipur is all about individual candidate. Now, coming to Manipur, Congress won 29 seats, 29 MLAs in Manipur out of 60, meaning they were short of only two MLAs to form the government. And the Still. reality is out of 29 MLAs, 16 shifted. 16 MLA shifted to BJP, to JDU and regional parties and that is what is making all the difference in Manipur. It's all about individual who matters. It's no, all about individual no, I, who matters. I, I, that is what is... Pradeep I disagree here because you know the Northeast policy of Prime Minister Narendra Modi is making impact in three ways. The infrastructure development and people are realizing that after independence for the first time, someone is coming Northeastern. Prime Minister Modi visited more than 40 times in Northeastern states. It is accumulated visits of the, all the, his uh, predecessors Prime Minister. Second important thing is that the people of Manipur are getting the welfare scheme 
schemes. North Eastern states basically welfare schemes could not reach in the past. There was no welfare scheme particularly intended to, for the poor people. So the poor, mainstreaming of the poor people in the democratic setup is a great achievement of the Bharatiya Janata sure. Party in Manipur and other states. And the collapse of the Congress in one more state, yes. Rahul Verma. Yeah. I am getting the Congress question again and again and I don't want to... No, I think, it's the story, no, of, it's the yeah, story it's of the story, election but I think Because I'll be repeating myself, I, I want to point out something uh, different. Yeah, sure, yeah. I think BJP winning yeah. Manipur basically signals yeah. now, yeah. after they yeah. won Assam last year, second time, yeah. Manipur yeah. second yeah. time. So BJP was a party which was not present in Northeast at all before 2014. And now if they are coming to these states second time, basically changes the nature and character of the party. And you're right, basically Congress is vacating the space, Congress is not fighting hard in these states. I, I don't know what new things I can say about uh, Congress not fighting in, in, in these places. The interesting point is what, what BJP has managed to do is basically got both uh, political elites from parties like Congress, as Pradeep ji pointed out, as well as local elites in the party. So it, now BJP is not only moving with PM's image, but also building the party in the north. In fact, both these states, Manipur and Goa, more than half the candidates are actually from the Congress. So their Congressification has taken place of the BJP in these states, as they did in Puducherry. That's how the BJP expands in a number of states. I'm joined by Mr. Kikong. Mr. Kikong, Honlumo Kikong, am I right in pronouncing your name, sir? I'm sorry if I've got that wrong, but I want to get that right. I right. came to your lovely state you last week. Right. Absolutely great. That's you wonderful. I want to know, Mr. Honlumo Kikong, how sure are you of getting a majority? When I was in Manipur, the general feeling was Manipur has become Manipur, M-O-N-E-Y-P-U-R. Election there, like Goa, will also be decided after the elections. Do you think you will have to turn to Conrad Sangma's NPP and the NPF to form a government? No, absolutely not. We are forming uh, the government on our own and uh, we will get absolute majority. Uh, 34 is the minimum that we are expecting and it is supposed is uh, projected to get higher mm -hmm. in the days to come i mean when the result is counted uh, one thing i would like to say is that says that stitching together a coalition post uh, result is another thing but uh, getting a resounding majority for the bjp alone is a big achievement for the state of manipur because we have seen the development in the last five years, which is remarkable, resounding, which is, uh, you know, compared to the 15 years of uh, Congress ruling the state, it is uh, really achieved, uh, you know, right. high level of development. And that is the reason why people have voted and people have reposed their faith in the BJP-led government in Manipur. Okay, Mr. I'm sorry, Mr. Kikong, we're going to have to leave you because uh, we'll wait and see how Manipur votes. Now it's time, Rahul, to start doing what everyone is asking for. What is the My India Axis Axis poll, My Axis, India. Axis My India poll telling us about the state of Uttar Pradesh? And what Rahul and I are going to do is what we did in the general election. We will go region by region. We do exit polls seriously. We don't just throw a number at you. We will explain and build you the drama because trust me, there is drama to be had. This is going to be a result that's going to shock you. It's a sensational result that's coming up in Uttar Pradesh. The kind that you have perhaps never imagined what could have happened in Uttar Pradesh. The most populous state in the country, roads to Delhi lead through Lucknow. What is the road of Uttar Pradesh telling us? Rahul, why don't you kick off? So, should